is really surface water which outstrips groundwater and groundwater itself the trajectory of groundwater will depend on a number of factors which I'll uh, be presenting to you could go in actually three possible directions so it could uh, either increase it could remain steady or it could actually taper off uh, you know over time so broadly this is the kind of hypothesis we are putting forward and large number of case studies are presented in support of this hypothesis examples of cities and towns are given which actually help understand the dynamics within cities so as certain cities have grown from being small towns and becoming larger we have shown this kind of trajectory is what these towns and cities have followed so this is what I just described to you are the four stages and how these dependence on surface and groundwater changes over time now the significant fact that I have slipped in in the previous slide is the fact that groundwater is a very important source of water even in urban India. We know that it's important in rural India, but the acknowledgement of the fact that groundwater is a very important part of urban water solutions has, is just lacking. In acknowledgement, in the 12th five-year plan, we have acknowledged the fact that we need to map our aquifers, and we are desperately hoping that this process will take off in our cities. Now the data itself, that's why we're calling it the blind spot in urban water planning, the data on groundwater is really missing. And what we have are three sources which I'm citing. This is the best we can do at this stage. We are hoping that the aquifer mapping process will help us uh, better document this. But the Center for Science and Environment has uh, shown in a study of 71 cities and towns that groundwater is 48% of urban water. The NIUA has said that class one and class two cities, about 56% are dependent on groundwater. And the Central Groundwater Board itself says that unaccounted groundwater in urban areas exceeds 50% in 28 Indian cities. Now, this is a situation where individuals are pumping out groundwater. There is no record of what they are doing. And they are, of course, providing a major service because they are filling out the gaps in the public water supply. The public water supply is not reaching many areas as we know. Uh, when the uh, present Delhi government was in power the last time, I was appealing to the chief minister that the important issue is not making water freely available to those who already have water, but actually to uh, extend the public water supply system to those who are unconnected. We are still hoping that the government will give priority to that because that is the <clears throat> major gap that groundwater has tried to fill. Now that, is, that has been a very important uh, element of providing drinking water security in these areas, but it has also led to a co-terminal depletion in the aquifers and also contamination of these aquifers, who, which are really not being even recorded or treated in any manner. And so the sustainable management of groundwater has become a very important issue in urban